What's going on everyone? I have the long-awaited Samurai Ba- Oh, no, this isn't Samurai Saber, this is Steel Samurai. The Hasbro exclusive. Well, this is why I never got, so time to open this baby up and see how it works. And if I had to guess, it's gonna work just like, well, uh, another Beyblade. Because a lot of these Hasbro exclusive Beyblades are just, unfortunately, just reskins. Just totally just reskins. It's like nothing special. Just complete reskins of other Beyblades in terms of the shapes and the parts. And that's the important thing. Not just the shape of the blade, but also the parts. And I'll show you what I mean once we find out what this thing is the clone of. Okay, let's get rid of this. Still pretty cool to have it. But yeah, with the announcement of the new Samurai Saber Beyblade, a transforming Beyblade, and seeing this Hasbro exclusive, it's kind of like, eh, whatever. And that's kind of how it is for a lot of the other... Hasbro exclusives. Here's the. I don't know if I can get it correctly. Uh, there you go. There's that um, QR code if you really want it. But yeah, so all the things I thought were just going to be straight up just Hasbro exclusives, like in terms of the avatars, like Tyranno and Bear and Samurai and um, man, I'm not sure what other Beyblades there are like that. But yeah. TT is going to have their own versions, but with cool parts, you know? And I'm not saying that we're not going to get those. We're going to most likely get those, but it's really weird that we're like, oh, cool, we get these cool Hasbro exclusives, these cool, unique avatars, and it's like, they're like, nope, we're going to do that too. We're going to have a ninja as well. That's going to have, like, a completely different shape and function. We're going to have a bear, a tyranno, a... Uh, a, a samurai we're gonna have all the same exact things but we're gonna actually make them cool and there we go and yeah wait a minute one i can't really count the size four time i think i think i know i think i know who you are i i i know who you are yeah not many beyblades have five sides you are definitely leon claw Ugh. This is the part that's kind of crazy. At least this one is not as egregious as like some of the other ones. You know, like um, let's get an example here. Like um, oh yeah, the Shark Edge clone. Let me get that. Like how Croc is totally the same exact part. So at least this one kind of like has the same parts. But yeah, Hasbro exclusive. But shape of it, it's just Croc, it, and it's probably and it's, it's a worse Shark Edge because it's not as heavy so yeah whatever viper tail has its spider-man and talon terra as the clone you probably wouldn't know it it's a very hard one to see but it definitely is a viper tail for the clone venom is just dran sword bear i don't have bear yet i don't think bear even came out yet but yeah when bear comes out it's just rhino and the tyranno is just phoenix so and by, by part by part, I believe, as well. Just completely by part by part. So it's bad enough that they're going to do the same shapes, but they're also going to give you the same exact combos as well. That's just like, it feels like I'm just wasting money. Now, don't get me wrong. It's really, really cool. I love the design and the colors and everything, but goodness, I mean, they couldn't make anything special. And to be fair, I'm just going to go out there and just say on a limb, the reason why I don't think they make any of these exclusives really special is because... This is supposed to be an international sport where everybody from all over the world is supposed to be able to play each other for the world championships. So in Japan, they're not getting these. They're only getting the ones that are made by TT. So if Hasbro starts making, like, let's say blades that are really, really good and become meta, then that means in the world championship setting, American players, Canadian players, you know, people that get the Hasbro products, will have a certain advantage over the Japanese audience who will have to get their Beyblades, or at least those parts, by shipping internationally. And it's not right that you need to get international shipping for a product just so you can compete on a national stage. It's not fair. You should be able to get those same exact things everywhere, which is why in Hasbro, we get all the TT Beyblades. So I think that's the reason why they're not creative and they're just giving us the same exact shape. But it's almost like they don't give us these because we're going to get a Samurai anyway. We're going to get an even cooler version of Samurai. So why even make this? We're going to get a cool version of Tyranno. We're going to get the cool version of Bear. So 
you know, why even do this? Aside from the fact that it's probably just a cash grab. It's really no reason to make this because before the part of it that made it cool is that it was these exclusive avatars. But we're going to get Samurai. He's coming back and he's going to be in a way cooler Beyblade that transforms. So it's like, why even do this? But regardless, let's put it in a battle or at least test spin it first to see how it works. It should work like... I'm not sure whose bottom it has here. It doesn't have Leon Cole. Like I said, I'm just glad it's not a complete exact copy in terms of the parts. All right, now time to do the test spin. It is a balanced type Beyblade, just like Leon Claw. So let's see how it functions. Let's do that again. That was kind of an odd spin. Let's try one more time and see how it goes. There we go. That's a lot stronger and better. Woo! Okay, actually, let's put it in a battle again. Against, uh, let's put it in a battle against Leon Claw. Let's see which Leon Claw is the best Leon Claw. Is Samurai the best Leon Claw or is Leon Claw the best Leon Claw? That's really weird. Three, two, one, let it rip. Oh, 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 I wasn't fast enough. It went a little bit too crazy. Let's do that again. Three, two, one, let it rip. Leon Claw, come on. Am I gonna have to spin Samurai first? I'm probably gonna have to spin Samurai first. Well, actually, let me do Leon Claw one time with a tilt shot. There you go, that's a defensive mode. Ooh. Oh. And Samurai got it, but this time let me spin Samurai first to see what happens. Then that way I could also put Leon Claw in attack position. Attack position, I'm so used to Yu-Gi-Oh! Attack mode. Three, two, one, let it rip. That extreme dash was nasty by Leon Claw. Yeah, and Leon Claw took that. So yeah, Leon Claw in attack uh, mode is really, really strong against this Beyblade. So let's try it one more time. Maybe I can do it in attack mode spinning first. I just can't get it. It's just too fast. It's just too fast. We're gonna have to go to defense. Yeah, in a two-player Beyblade setting, I would be able to do it, but I can't do it like this unless I have like a double launcher. So let's go defense. I would have said Leon Claw has it, but now it's looking a lot more uneven, and it looked like Samurai took it. That was a pretty good battle. Let's try Samurai against another Beyblade now. Against the Hasbro exclusive brother, against Croc. Croc is an attack type, so I'm going to spin it second, so let's go Samurai. I think Samurai should take this one. There we go. Let's do that one more time. I don't know what just happened. I think I sniped it and then Samurai still knocked it her way into the pocket. Let's do that one more time. Wow. Okay, that, that's Croc's win. Funny thing is, Samurai got knocked out and it's still spinning across my floor. It didn't stop or anything. Let's hop on, we just see how it does against Terra. That'd be pretty cool. These are two exclusives that came out of singles anyway. So let's see which one of these are better. So if you sold these both in your local store, which one you should be getting? Did you want to let it rip? That might have been too late of a spin, but we'll go with it anyway. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I thought Terra was gone because it was on his side and... It looks like it's gonna get this one. It looks like it's gonna get this one. There's no way. There's no way it's losing this. There's no way it's losing this. I think just one hit and Samurai's gone. Yeah, and Samurai's gone. It didn't even have to touch it. There we go. So yeah, Samurai is overall, I mean, it's not bad at all. I mean, I like it. Like I said, my only disappointment with this is that it's essentially just, like I said, just Leon Claw in shape. And like I said, I kind of get why, ooh, that ridge is a little bit sharp there. I wonder if I got a messed up one or maybe because he is the samurai he is gonna cut things down but yeah it is kind of a shame that in tt they are getting cool versions of these like i said i we're gonna get them too i'm pretty sure we're gonna get them but i thought these hasbro exclusives were cool because they had these exclusive avatars and it turns out they're not really going to be exclusive we're gonna see samurai again tyranno ninja yes that ninja is another one we still haven't seen terror yet or croc released for TT, so maybe those are true exclusives. I don't know if it's going to be a true exclusive or not. I don't know if those are eventually going to make it to TT, but yeah, I mean, 
these are kind of just cash grabs if you want different colors of these parts they look really, really nice like I said shape is pretty much the same so if you don't really want to use a lion motif and you kind of want to use samurai as long as the weight distribution is the same then I guess there's no problem use you know switching between them on like croc and shark where shark is like looks like it's the better one to use it looks like it's heavier so that's what makes it kind of like the superior blade to use but like I said it's up to you overall not a terrible get at all just something really nice to add to the collection I can't wait to do a samurai versus samurai battle when samurai saber comes out so let me know what you guys think about these Beyblades are you buying them just collection pieces how do you feel about them do you think I might be right about why the parts are not like really unique or anything because they have to be kind of uniform for an international setting and you can't have one country with super meta parts that the other country doesn't have access to because that's the only thing I could think of on why these are not like really really different like they have the whole nice motif and everything like that for a samurai but you know I can understand to that degree why they don't make the parts even cooler and more like dynamic and different and unique but yeah let me know what you guys think about that until next time people please like comment share subscribe and peace out